And a warm welcome on a very pleasant day for football in the northeast of England. The venue is St James's Park. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always, is Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Newcastle United up against Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. Well, you get the feeling when you watch Harry Kane that he dedicates himself daily to being the best player he can be. Lee, what do you expect to see from him in this match? Well, Derek, they don't come much better than this lad. A real handful. Back fours all over the country have had a torrid time off him this season. From minute one to minute 90. Good luck, lads. Glad it's them and not me. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. Thank you, St James. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Did you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Here's Grujic. Sam Maxima has it. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. It is to be a throw. Grant. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. DeAndre Yedlin. Sam Maxima has it. And news of a goal in the Manchester United match. Allen just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Fight has it. He has time to play it over. Cutting in. What can he do from this position? And Harry Kane ready to pounce. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Well, it can be a hit or a miss when it comes to striking it on the volley. Yeah, you always take a risk when it comes in like that, but he took a chance. He was brave. Just not his day on that occasion. When you look at those stats, Derek, it tells a story all of its own. They haven't created enough chances. The forwards have been off the game as well. They haven't really utilised the white. Harry Kane! Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Additional minutes are in order. It's with Isaac Hayden. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. That is that for the first half here. Now let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Spurs facing Monaco. Yeah, break from league action. For... And he takes on the shot. And he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity from close range, Lee. How close does he want to be to score? He's gone for power and fluffed his lines. Between these two teams, it's been a real tight, cagey affair. You just hope he opens up a little that one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Getting news of a goal in the Watford game. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Watford. 71 minutes played. 2-1. He must finish. And on the volley, that's not exactly...
how he intended to catch it. Well, it's worth a chance. One in ten, it goes in the top corner. Nine out of ten goes where it did do. Both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time. Dallin. Christian Eriksen now. He has plenty of support, and it's gone just narrowly widely. Well, not his laces. It's the inside of his foot, Derek. It's a decent effort. Very good use of advantage there by the official, letting the play carry on and then only subsequently handing out the yellow card. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what the fans want. They want to see the game going on. They don't want to see... It. Ball with Gale. Joel Linton. And they're on the front foot. And this can make certain for them. Now, Son. And the referee blows for full time. Time for a few questions. No further questions, thank you. Thank you all for waiting. We'll be taking questions now. Right, we'll be wrapping up now, guys. Thank you very much.
It is a stadium that has a feel very much of its own. I'm talking, of course, of Craven Cottage. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Fulham up against Newcastle United. Yeah, thanks as always, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a really good game today. The atmosphere is great. Certainly buzzing from the spectators' point of view as we head towards kickoff. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, his ability on the ball is second to none. Just watch how close he keeps the ball to his feet. He lures defenders in, then a quick turn of pace and he's away from you. Brilliant player. And this is the team Fulham have selected. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers, it will stay high and wide. Very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Thank you. Enjoy so the starting game. 11 for Newcastle United. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. Straight down the throat of the opposition. Oh, nice work to get past his opponents. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. And over comes the corner. Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. Walcott. Camara. Well, looking at the table, you've got to say Brighton have been among the surprise packages. And he must finish! It looked as though he was going to score, but last-ditch defender... It's been scored by Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. He worked the ball between his feet in a very tight area. An incisive pass. Well, just couldn't keep himself onside. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Will it be? High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. Abubakar Kamara. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Options in the centre. Well cleared away. And news of a goal in the City game, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Manchester City. 23 minutes played, 1-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. And he's fired over the corner. Well, that's the end of that for now. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Making progress. In search of space, and after the cross, a tremendous block. 
Alessandro Schupp. And given away. Grujic. The opening goal. Due reward for their efforts. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. Well, Derek, take another look at this now. There's nothing much, really, the keeper can do. It was good play to get in that position. He's not going to miss from there. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game. One nil then. From it, Onama now. They've regained possession. The fourth official. Beautifully disguised ball. The offside flag had to go up, and it did. Yeah, look along the line, look along the line. But he was in the right place to intercept. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Baited plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. Joel Linton. Well, they just let his opponent glide by. Just a bit too high with that powerful effort. Yeah, he's just leaving. I'm back, Derek. Power was there, but not the direction. Onoma now. Seri. Camera. Giving it a try. Not even close in the end, Lee. Well, he's had a go, Derek. He's gone for power, but the accuracy just won't. Need to get bodies back. Tremendous ball played through. Onoma. Sam Maxima has it. It's with Joe Linton. Grujic. Well, visionary passing. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, it's a beautifully crafted goal. The supply line worked perfectly there. And he finishes it off with ease. Lovely goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. It's going their way, 2-0. It's with Joe Linton. Running with the ball confidently. He takes aim. And good work to deny the chance. Elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game.
Corner kick played in. Punching it clear. there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Muto. It's with Onguisa. Real danger. Onguisa. Crossing into the middle. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, if we're giving marks for performances, you're up there with the eights and the nines there. Scored a goal, his team won. He also had plenty of chances to get one or two more. Just got a couple of questions for you regarding the match. Cheers, thanks for the questions.
the awesome Sergio Aguero in action for you here as the top scorer in the league, remember, and it's live. This is St James's Park, the historic home of Newcastle United. Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith alongside me as usual. Premier League football for you very shortly. It's Newcastle United against Manchester City. Well, what an arena we've got here. Perfectly suited to football and two very noisy sets of fans. What a backdrop that should be to what on paper should be a, an entertaining match. Sergio Aguero, many attributes, and he never gives up. Well, been in fine form in front of goal. Top scorer in the league with 12. Newcastle United's lineup. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Jamal Lascelles plays with Deandre Yedlin in the fullback positions, and it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. Thank you, Saint Several Saint changes Saint for Saint Manchester Saint City. The goalkeeper is Edison. Emerick Laporte plays with Jan Vertonghen as the centre-backs. Tony Kroos starts with Bernardo Silva in the wide positions. In attack, Sergio Aguero starts. He was man of the match last time out. Here's Joe Linton. Tam Maxima. Behind the defenders, over their heads. It's a save, somehow. Well, no wonder his teammates had congratulated him. That was superb. And here comes the corner. And the keeper chooses to punch. Aim for those in the middle. He has cleared it well. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. The break is definitely on. Still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Clever ball. De Bruyne. Oh, he's through. De Bruyne! Keeper did well to reach it, but he couldn't keep it. Powerful clearance. Sergio Aguero now looking for a through ball. And it's De Bruyne who gets the goal. He took a chance to get in there, and the ball just fell perfectly for him. Couldn't miss from that. No, he couldn't. Point-blank effort. But uh, you have got to be in the positions, haven't you, to miss them? The old saying goes true. Manchester City are in the lead. City goal. Number 17, Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, time to get the cross now. Saved, but not decisive. They have leveled it up. And this game takes another twist. And it's been very good value. We're really enjoying commentating on it. I hope you're enjoying watching it because it's one of the better games we've seen this season and it's still time to go. Either side could win it from here. Oh, I always used to love scoring these type of goals when you're there first. It feels good, this.
It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. City boss in this in terms of control in possession. But for me, and I'm sure for the manager, they're not creating enough. They are going to go and win this match, which you'd expect. Just got to find another gear, ask a few more questions of the opposition here. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Still progressing on the break. Real chance! A marvellous break away from Newcastle, rounded off in style. Well, that was clinical to say the least, wasn't it? The way they moved the ball so quickly forward. That was really cheeky. And it was brilliant too. He's that kind of player, always looking for the unusual. And uh, sometimes, and so often, you try it and it floats harmlessly over. Not this time, he was spot on. Showing his frustrations, the manager. I'm sure he'd love to be out there playing himself, but he can't. And his team are losing now. Manchester City are trailing now, they've got to try and hit back. Newcastle United goal, number 21, to White Gale. Room in which to attack. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Jan Vertonga. De Bruyne. It's Aguero. Leroy Sane. He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. That is half-time, and we've reached it at 2-1. Not quite good enough so far, Alan. That touch map pretty much sums up the game as a whole. The opposition have been on top. They're winning, and winning fairly comfortably, and he hasn't been able to influence it. Is it? Substitute for Manchester City. Found good room out here. Chance to cross it. What an opportunity. That's uh, straightforward enough for the goalkeeper. Good hands, but... No surprise to see City ahead in the possession stakes. But you can see the manager down there is less than happy. Obviously, his team's losing. That's bad enough, but... No real sign so far that they're going to get back into this because... Because they're just not able to find a way through that defence and make the keeper work. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. He had an excellent game, and uh, he'll be so satisfied that he was able to get that. What well, might be the winning goal. I think the cross is on. De Bruyne. And here's the shot. Very Sane! Wonderful save. Just too high, just over with the header. Yeah. Into the attacking third. Not far away at all. Well, if they keep creating chances, I'm sure they'll take one. That'll... It was a decent effort, you know. Two substitutions to come, one from each camp. Time when they were in front, they've been just as solid in the second half. Slipping it through. Fantastic work from the goalkeeper, and his teammates congratulate him. Still in front. Now it's interventions like that that can really win your trophies, and they might have just won this game. Oh, oh, oh. 
Corner's taken. Tony Cross. A real miscue here. Uh, it's too close to court. And uh, Sam Maxima. He's had a good look and decided on what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Not too many more attacks, I don't think. Very late in the game. It's good defending, I guess. They put him off the shot and he's uh, stuck it wide. Yeah, I think you could see the defenders converging at the corner of his eye and maybe rushed his shot a little bit. And that's the end of the game. I think we thought that this team would be brushed aside. They proved those thoughts to be very misguided. Well, I think they'll get a real pat on the back from their manager because they gave it their all. Didn't leave anything out on the pitch there today. Hi, uh, just a couple of questions for you. Thank you so much for your time.